Hey, hey, Facebook. We are back for day six. I'm about to get set up over here on Instagram. And we're going to get started. Let's see. I'm a little early, but that's okay. All right. We are live. We are live. Happy Monday. Happy December 6th, which means we're on day six of my 30 days of content challenge. So I'm going to give it just a minute. Hey, Alicia, see who all joins. Um, hey, y'all. Hey, hey, Rissa. So I got a, I got a nice little topic for y'all today. Okay. And it is all about investing in your business. And so what kind of prompt is prompted this um oh lord i hit my leg so what kind of prompted this was clearly you know um i'm having a challenge 30 day challenge and i wanted to do my lives at noon at noon every day except for on some of the days because of my schedule well i ended up signing up for a five-day workshop hey brooklyn hey jessica um, I ended up signing up for a five day workshop that starts at noon. So I'm adjusting a little bit. I'm pivoting just a little and we're having, um, a little 2 PM. So a little bit later. So I just want to give y'all a backstory on kind of where the topic came from, because it is not uncommon for me to invest in myself. And in fact, uh, Hey Deanna, uh, in fact, it has almost become a sport, so to speak, because I am so obsessed with my personal growth and my personal development. Why? Because I know that it is the personal growth and the personal development that yields the business success. Okay. So that's what we're going to talk about. That's what we're going to talk about today. Um, so let me see. I got my notes up. Oh, we got all kinds of people hopping on. Hey y'all. Hey. Okay. So I have three Three main topics I'm going to talk about today. I kind of mix them up in my post, but investing. Do you invest in yourself um, as a business owner, specifically a designer? And I want to ask yourself if you are not investing in yourself, why is that? Like, do you actually have a reason? We all have, there's some excuse. And nine times out of 10 is going to be money. So we're going to talk a little bit about um, how that really shouldn't be the deciding factor. And I had one coach told, tell me one time, she was like, if you can't afford to invest, you can't afford not to invest. And I was like, whoa, wait a minute, let me think about that for a minute. If you cannot afford to invest, you can't afford not to invest. So what she meant by that was if you're not at a point where you can invest in your business, you're at a point where you cannot afford to not invest because your growth is going to be the thing, right? Like it's that personal growth, the investment that actually lets you be ready to invest. So a lot of times we're making decisions in our business based off of our current circumstance. And I'm going to talk about that too today. Um, but I want to start first of all, like when, let me move this because I can't see my, my notes. Okay. So when should you invest in your business? Okay. I want to say... I remember the night that I there the very first investment I ever made because prior to actually spending money on like my own education in my business I was definitely on like this you know the free route and there's nothing wrong with that like it definitely got me um, it got me to a place where in a, a lot of you have probably experienced this where you're like doing all the free things and you can only learn so much at the free level because there's there's no support. Like it's not meant to get you, like to keep you going. It's to get you a one little quick little thing so you can get to the next, to the next uh, spot. Um, but, okay, so when should you start investing in your business? We don't want to wait for the perfect time. Why? Because the perfect time doesn't exist, right? So we really want to, there's two core components, two core things that you really want to think about when determining when you should invest in your business. And so the very first is when you identify that there is a gap between where you are right now, so your current situation, your current circumstance, 
there is a gap between where you are and where you want to be. So your point A is where you are now and your point B, where do you want to go? If you have these two locations, these two destinations in mind, your starting and your ending point, and you don't know how to fill the gap, you don't know how to go from point A to point B, that's an indicator that it's time. Because what's gonna happen is one of two things. You're either going to go the free route because you don't feel like you can invest in your business just yet. And when I say invest, I don't mean you gotta spend several thousand dollars, but there is a clear, distinct difference between paid content and free content, right? You're only gonna get but so much from the free content and it is going to leave you wondering, okay, what now? Okay, ne okay, I have this information, but I, I still don't know what to do with it. Whereas when you invest, you're getting more of the actual steps. And so for example, I have a $27 program and it should be $2,700 because it is just full of so much. So profit ready is what I'm talking about. All about how to price and package your services. It should be worth so much more, but it's only $27. But it is the act of knowing, or it's the act of that transaction. So the transformation is in the transaction. You are invested more when you put up some skin in the game, such as opening up your wallet, pulling out your card, and putting some money into it. How many free downloads do you have just sitting collecting dust on your digital bookshelf? You're not invested in it, and, they, and it's free. So you already have this preconceived notion that because something is free, it is of less value. So you are going to spend less time in it. And I actually witnessed this firsthand inside of my membership last year. Um, it was only $67, which I have, I have brought this back, but I, I fixed some things. So one of the problems with how I had my program last year, it was only $67 and people didn't see the value, so they didn't do the work. Okay, so that's number one. You have to be able to one notify, you have to be able to identify that there is a gap, and then you have to be willing to put some skin in the game, whether it's $27, $2,000, I don't care, but that act of investing, it's energy. You are literally taking money, which is energy, and you're, it's flowing. It has to flow out for more to come in. You have to make space, you have to get rid of crap, in order for more like the stuff you want to come in it's everything it's energy but even like think about uh, I heard a great analogy if you only have a one car garage you're gonna have to get rid of your old car before you can get a new car to park the new car in there right so we have to clear out space it's all energy so with money when we hoard it cuz I was a money hoarder and I always I was like ah I can't let my money go because it's it's lack mentality it's um scarcity it's you know there's never enough and it's all energy when you're operating in this space you are putting up a bubble to receive the stuff that you want so you have to be willing to solve a problem in your own business before you can create a solution in your business for someone else okay that's a whole other thing a lot of times we don't even have a solution in our business we just out here trying to sell some stuff We'll have a whole conversation about that. But when should you invest in yourself? Number one, when you see a gap between where you are now and where you want to be in the future. If you don't know how to fill that gap, you're going to need some help. Otherwise, you're going to spend all your time trying to figure it out. You can either spend time or money. Those are your only two options. But guess what? You can never get back. Time. You can never, ever get back the time. If I could turn back the time and go back 10, 13 years when I first started my business thinking that I could not invest um, and choosing to use my time to figure it all out, I would be so much farther now had I actually invested instead of, I was conserving the wrong resource. I was conserving my money when that can be replenished but my time can never be replenished. So we have to be really like, what do you value? And a lot of us value money more than we value time. And until you change that relationship with your money, 
you're 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 I hate to say it, you're always going to be in this cycle of I, I never have enough money. I can't invest. I got to wait. I got to get some more money. Like we have to realize and identify that this is actually a red flag in our own thought process and it's holding us back. OK, um, uh, let's see. When you are willing to invest, you will receive it back. Yes, it is energy. It flows. You got to let it go for it to come back in. Um, and also, if you have a, a, a bad relationship with money, I do have a workshop just about your relationship with money mindset. Um, and I think that's $27 too. So DM me if you're interested in that. But the next, okay, so the next reason, so the one of the two, why you should or when you should invest in your uh, in yourself, in your business, um, when you are finally willing to grow your business despite your current circumstance. So despite the fact that you don't have it all figured out, I can't tell you how many people will come to me and be like, Amber, I, like, I know I want to grow my business, but I'm not ready to invest. I got to figure some more stuff out. And I'm like, that's so backwards. I'm, I can tell you how to do it if you just open up your wallet and pay $27, $67, but you'd rather figure some stuff out. Okay. So we got we to gotta make sure like we are really thinking about the decisions we're making for ourselves okay um are we letting what's happening right now in our lives dictate what we believe can be true for us in the future so you know just believing that i'll never be able to invest in in something or i'll never make enough money to invest or you know i only attract bad clients so i'll never be able to so what is like that conversation that we're having that's number one be aware of how you're talking to yourself and identify it right like i was sick i'm not gonna tell you where i was having this uh thought at <laughs> but i was having this thought i was just thinking and i was like you know, some of us are so mean to ourselves, you know, like we are so hard and so mean in the way that we like talk to ourselves internally. And I was like, if someone outside, like not myself, was talking to me this way or talking about me this way, I would not like them. And it's like, you, we have to think about, are we talking to ourselves in a way that is boosting us up and in making us feel like we can do this or are we talking to ourselves in a way that's bringing us down you know it's usually the latter i know i have to every morning when i wake up i have to stop my thoughts and i have to reprogram my very first thoughts every single morning every single morning and it's it's a choice it is that choice and the choice to decide what what conversation you're going to partake in today okay and then using that conversation to to fuel your decisions right not based off of where you are today but where you can be tomorrow okay so those are our two things when should you invest in your business number one when you see a gap in where you are now versus where you want to be in the future and then two when you are finally willing to grow your business despite the current circumstance okay despite your current where you're at it is not going to affect your final destination all right so the second reason or the second way as it relates to inv investing in your business um why Okay, so we talked about when you should invest, but why really? And you know, why should you invest when there's really no new information? Let's just put that out there. There is no new information. All this information is the same. It's a matter of have you come across it in a way that you understand it, that it clicks, that you're able to digest it, and you're actually able to implement it, okay? So when you go that free route, you're really just in full consumption mode and you don't really get around to implementing because you don't know how. You don't have the support to help you with that. So just make sure you are noted, um, identifying free versus paid. You know, it, there is a difference in investing in your business. So why should you invest? The number one reason you should invest in your business is because you don't have to figure this all out on your own in fact you shouldn't try to figure it all out on your own because when you do you are delaying your results okay i delayed mine by a decade 
because it took me that long to invest. Well, and when I started, online businesses were not as big a thing. Like back in, let's see, when did I start, start? 2008, nine? Like, I didn't know anything about online business. So um, we want to, you have so many resources, right? Like right now, but what is the real benefit in utilizing these resources, such as coaches or programs or, you know, memberships, communities? Like, what is the real benefit? So I'm going to go through my top five, and then I'm going to tell you what the result is. So it's not just that you get the benefit of, number one, having another set of eyes on your business. A lot of times we're so close to what we're doing we can't see that the smallest, tiniest tweak is literally all that it's going to take. So what we do is we continue to consume, 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 and we try to figure it out on our own. And all this time passes when you could literally invest with someone who has done exactly what you're trying to do. And they can look in your business in a matter of minutes and know exactly what the issue is. And you have saved yourself so much time, so much energy, and you can't get those things back, but you can get your money back. Okay, so another set of eyes to help you see what is right in front of you. Most times the answer is right in front of you, but we're too close and we can't figure it out. So that is a huge benefit of having just working with someone, even if it's not one on one, if it's in a group, if there's a community aspect of it, like those things are so beneficial. OK, and actually, I would if I were going to invest my first investment, I would not suggest that be like a one on one. And I know a lot of people want to invest one on one as their first because they're like, oh, you know, I'm going to get all the attention. The coach is going to be specifically talking to me. But what you're missing in a one-on-one -on -one, uh, atmosphere is other people's perspective. Other people who have experienced things. You've only experienced what you have experienced, so you can only ask certain questions. Other people's experiences allow them to ask other different questions, which then expands your, your awareness and your knowledge around a certain topic. So one on one is actually limiting and it's the most expensive. And that's where most people think I need to invest first. So let me just help you out and let you know you don't even need one on one. Just if you can get in a space and a place that you can be surrounded by like minded people that you can bounce ideas off of a community, invest in a community that is going to Rissa says that's why I love DTP. It is nothing like being in a place where one there's no judgment two you know that everyone there is working towards the same thing the same co common goal has experiences and knows what you're talking about because i work with just designers so everyone in my programs are designers so we all get it <laughs> and there's nothing like being in a place in a space with people who get it okay when you go ask your cousin for their their you know insight you got a question what do you think about this and they have nothing to give you and then you feel like oh well maybe this wasn't a good idea or maybe i shouldn't do this all because you went to the wrong place you got the wrong eyes on your stuff okay yeah we're always hoping that each other figure it out like that is it's fun to kind of it's, it's fun to see like okay how can we how can we strategically solve a problem together as a collective? And then ultimately, everyone's able to avoid more and more problems, which is going to save you more time, which is going to make you more money, which is going to create more freedom. So there's this real domino effect when you start investing in yourself. OK, it just it gives you it gives you a little bit of skin in the game. OK, um, number two. So an another benefit of having um or investing maybe it's a coach maybe it's a program whatever just invest in something it's gonna help you move outside of your comfort zone okay but the the simple act of pushing the button to buy something is getting you outside of your comfort zone you don't have to do that with all the free stuff so you're not you're not really invested which is why it ain't working for you you're not you're not taking it 
at the same seriousness or the same level as something you have spent money on. Even if it's only $7, $27, under a hundred, it doesn't matter. When you pull out your card, this is, this is actually uh, not a credit card. <laughs> it's for our gun safe. Um, I keep it in my phone, but I have to take my phone out of my holder to, anyways, I got all sidetracked. But when you pull out your card and you swipe it, it is you giving an intention. It is you saying, I believe in this thing and I believe that I can do it too. So you're automatically by swiping, doing the transaction, that is the first step to your transformation because you are energetically committed to it. All right. So getting outside of your comfort zone when you that first swipe and you get in and you're learning it creates a level of momentum it creates um that just the action in and of itself creates clarity and when you have clarity you're able to continue to move forward but a lot of times we don't have clarity because we're stuck and so the simple act of swiping the card is going to get you outside of your, your comfort zone and then all these things are just going to start happening because you have invested in yourself you're on a whole different energetic plane right because someone who does not invest in themselves versus someone who does they don't necessarily believe they don't necessarily believe that what they want is possible for them but the person who pays for it they believe it and so they are taking inspired action to get the result okay all because they pulled out their card so number three the number three thing that you are going to get as a benefit when you invest in yourself this one is more specifically for if there's a community aspect not like a course a done for you or a DIY course if there's no support this one doesn't really apply <laughs> but if there is um, so receiving an objective opinion from someone who gets it so there is a huge difference between asking someone for their opinion who has no clue about what you do versus asking someone who's been there, someone who's done it, or to even be in a place or a space or a community full of people who are in it right, right now with you. There's just something about I don't know. I keep saying energy, but that's really what it is um, to be to know that like you're not alone, to know that there are other people working through the same things and to to know that they're not going to just tell you what you want to hear. Because a lot of times that's what we get when we ask. It's either I don't know or yeah, that's a good idea when you're like, OK, but I know you don't know what I'm talking about or are you sure it's like you really want some solid feedback and sometimes you don't get that with friends and family and you know people that aren't in the business so that is yet another benefit having that feedback opinion just a feedback loop anyways you know just to be able to bounce ideas back and forth off of from someone who gets it from people who get it that is invaluable and you can gain access to a community for for not I mean I have a community for $67 a month so it's really a matter of what is your like what assets are you trying to protect your time or your money because as you're building and really you know growing your business and until you scale it you have to choose are you investing time in your in into yourself in your business or are you investing money because you got to invest one um, if you want to grow okay so um, number four the number four uh, benefit is also receiving motivation and accountability you don't get that when you go watch YouTube channels you don't get that when you go down the Pinterest rabbit hole you don't get that when you're downloading all these freebies or going to all the webinars you don't get the motivation you don't get the accountability um and really it kind of does the opposite you during like the free thing maybe you're at a free training a webinar like you're really excited during but then after it's over it's you're back to that okay now what okay now what if you are asking yourself that a lot okay what should i do i don't know what i should be doing that's an indicator that you need someone to come in and help and it doesn't have to be a big investment any investment is fine again it is that energetic transaction that is going to lead to a transformation so if you're feeling stuck 
and you're not seeing any results or changes in your business, this could be the thing. A lot of times it's right in front of us. It's the smallest things. And then lastly, number five, the number five benefit is keeping, helping to keep you focused. <sighs> because there's so much noise. There is so much. There's just so much available to us. While it's great, it can be overwhelming and shiny object you know, syndrome sets in and you, oh, I can do this or, oh, I want to do that. And at the same time, you have clients asking you, well, could you do this? And I guess I could, so I will. You, then you end up with a business that just it, it's a bunch of stuff and you don't really know what you do or how to get a, a solid, repeatable result for your client because you're all over the place. So just the focus aspect in and of itself is, again, invaluable. So those were the top five. I'll run through them really quick. So why should you invest in yourself? And this ranges from, you know, mini courses to, you know, group coaching all, to one-on-one -on -one coaching. I don't care what the investment is. Just know that investing, it starts the domino effect, okay? And if you are feeling stuck and like you just... You're a stuck domino, you want to fall, but ain't nothing going on. The investing piece is probably what's missing. So the top reasons or the top benefits uh, that you should invest in yourself are one, to have another set of eyes on your business, to move to, to move outside of your comfort zone because growth does not happen in the comfort zone. Three, to receive an objective opinion from someone who has done what you're trying to do, to receive additional motivation or accountability, and then five, um, to help keep you focused. Now, when you do invest, what can you expect, right? So the top three, uh, the top three things that I see is that number one, you're able to really maximize on your skill set. You're you're able to lean into your expertise, okay? And as a result, when you do that, you will gain more confidence. And when you are confident in your business, guess what you don't do? You don't second guess yourself. So therefore, you're able to prioritize and make decisions and how to how to move forward, how to move in your business. Right. So those are the top three results just from investing. And again, it doesn't have to be a, a four figure investment it doesn't even have to be a three figure investment. I've spent seven dollars on things and it's that act of the transaction. OK, it starts some momentum. All right. So we know when you should invest and we know why you should invest but I want to finish this off by discussing how okay how to make the best decision for you when investing um, because everyone's experiences are going to be different everyone's situation is going to be different um, and a lot of times we're looking at past experiences, most specifically negative experiences. Um, and I wanted to really, I wanted to touch on that because most negative experiences are a result of expectations. So a lack of expectations or unrealistic expectations. So I know a lot of people are hesitant to invest in their business because they're just not sure if it's going to work for them. So here are some tips to help you. Um, if you're, you know, if you know you're on this path, what should you be considering? So like I just said, most negative experiences, and this is true in your business. If you have a bad client, um, it is usually because we didn't set the expectation up front. So if you've had a bad experience in something you've invested in, you probably didn't know what you should have or what to expect out of it. So you expected too much and you were disappointed or like you didn't have any expectations. So you maybe you didn't do the thing. So of course you didn't get the results. So we really want to number one, we want to be clear about why you want to invest. OK, it can't. And I, it, it could be it could be just because you want to make more business, not more business, more money in your business. But I do want to caution you to not always let the money be the motivator, okay? Because the money doesn't fix stuff, guys. <laughs> 
but he does not it doesn't fix stuff uh and and i will tell you um you know i have thought in the past uh when i have you know a 5k client things will be different or when i make a 20k month things will be different it's not it really isn't about the money so getting clear about the why outside of money will really help Ooh, let me let my dog out hold on will really help in the longevity okay. hopefully they'll go downstairs because they are loud sorry about that um okay so be clear number one how to make the best decisions uh for yourself when investing be clear as to why you want to invest like write that shit down okay because uh what is it called um when you buy something and then immediately uh what is it um buyer's regret remorse buyer's remorse because i promise you and i have done this to myself before um if you sign up for something and then you get in and you don't really know what your intentions are or your like why did you really do this thing you can get in there and be like oh this isn't what i want and then immediately or this isn't what i thought it was going to be and immediately i oh, shouldn't have spent this money you go into panic mode and it all could have been solved by getting clear on why you want to invest in the first place what is it going to help you do so that that one indicator when should you invest or one of the two um, is when you identify a gap okay so when you fill this gap what will you then be able to do get clear on what the after looks like what you expect your after to look like because if you have a certain expectation yet the program or what you're looking at does not align or is not going to get you that result that's a clear oh this isn't the right program to invest in so you got to get clear first on why do you want to invest and ultimately you know what do you think it's going to do for you the the result okay we talked about the transformation yesterday what transformation do you want from your investment then you can find programs or courses or coaches or whatever that is going to cater to that to that promise to that uh, result that you're looking for so you also want to be clear on how the investment will help you to achieve this so being so knowing the what you're looking for and then what is going to help you so if i like i just don't want you to get sidetracked on things that don't matter Cause that here's an example for you guys who are designers um so i ask i ask designers this all the time which is more important if you were going to invest do you think that you need design like a design uh oh do you think that you need a design course first or do you think that <laughs> give you the spectacles <laughs> or do you think that you need to know what you're trying to build first i ask that a lot so it's vision, right? Do you know where you're trying to go? So do you think that's the first step or do you think you need to learn how to design? Most people are gonna be like, I need to learn how to design. But then the problem with starting there is that you know how to design, but then you don't know what to do after it. So it's, oh my volume, ah oh, man. Okay. okay, I'm gonna close and come back, hold on. Okay, sorry, Facebook. <laughs> if y'all are still watching, I have to.
Okay, I think Facebook is back. I mean, Instagram. <laughs> oh my gosh, and now another freaking call, so this is not going to work. <sighs> Can y'all hear me, Ashley and Rissa? Because I got a call, and I think my volume went out again. Janae, Kimberly, is my Brooklyn, is my volume out? Can y'all hear me? Hold on. Okay, you can hear me. Okay, thank you. So I got back on and then I got another freaking phone call. Don't nobody ever call me, you guys. Hold on. I'm trying to. Why will my. Uh... There it goes. My little typewriter wouldn't go away. Okay, sorry. So, um, recap. Number three. How to make the best decision for you when investing in yourself. Number one, be clear about why you want to invest. Number two, be clear on how the investment will help you to achieve the thing from number one. And then lastly, number three, and this is a big one too, um, is to do your due diligence, right? Like, I want you to make sure that you're actually researching the the person who's doing the the you know whatever you're investing in just so you can make sure that you align with them because i will say i've had a couple of coaches and while i love them some of their strategies didn't work for me one i'll give you two examples the first coach she was a, she's a sing well she's married now but she was a single woman no kids and she has like a multiple seven figure business and she's doing like weekly webinars and she's like telling me to do these things too and I'm like I have three kids and a husband and all like a whole life so I can't do those things and then I had another coach who was a man and like his whole like just his approach is different than mine and while I loved most of his strategies there were some that just didn't align with me my life my style all of that so checking um just kind of Dick, making sure you, you do your, your research, right? And then also ask questions, okay? And check receipts. If you don't see any social proof, then you might want to ask some more questions. But, you know, it is our responsibility to be clear on what we're wanting so that we can go out and find exactly what we're looking for and a lot of times it can be hard to find you know the thing to invest in and it's usually because we don't know exactly what we're trying to do so that would definitely be that first step if you've been just kind of wondering you know when should I invest or like when is the right time how do I know these are some things to, to keep in mind for sure um, I'm not gonna recap I've gone over my 30 minutes and the the having to end just kind of lost my whole vibe so i'll be back tomorrow um it'll be 2 p.m every day this week central standard time that we'll do our um 30 days of live we're on day seven tomorrow um i don't think i have a topic picked out just yet so if you have any ideas or if there's something specific you want me to talk about feel free to dm me and in the meantime if you are a designer and you're just on the struggle bus, or if I, the way I like to call it is the hot mess express, if that's you, um, I do have a free training in my uh, bio that walks through really a lot of what I talked about, just the, the strategy, the thinking. I'm really big on mindset and just being aware. That's a big thing. Being what to be aware of and focusing on the right things and that's what this training is about to help you to focus on the right thing so be sure to check that out if you are you know struggling to get clients um <laughs> jessica i have zero kids and don't have the amount of time yeah so when you're picking a coach make sure make sure like they align with you because if it's a coach who, whose lifestyle i.e kids or you know whatever it doesn't match with yours then their strategies may not be the best for you because you have to think about kind of what where they're coming from okay and if they have a big team too like that's something to keep in mind as well 
um, we had a call. We had a prep school call um, for uh, for those students who signed up under. We had a three month option, and it came with a bonus session with me, and we did that last Friday. And um, we had a lot of questions about like how to launch, and so I showed them one of my launch documents, and it was like 22 pages long. And and that's a prime example. And I told them I was like. This is not what you mean when you say launch. So it's really understanding that there are levels to this. There are, you know, soft launches and then there are hard launches um, that are that could be three months long. Like there's just so many levels to this. And knowing where you where you are is an important part of being able to invest where you are so you again probably don't even need the one-on-one -on -one coaching that you think you do or you know the the multiple four-figure program that you've been looking at you probably just need a little bit of help to get that momentum to get you the money to be able to invest in those higher ticket things and that's my like that's my model um, which is why I brought back the the lower price point at $67 because I have had so many students go through that um, just kind of that journey where it's a small entry point but if you do the work you can get to the next level and not have to go into debt trying to do it or you know credit cards or loans whatever um, there's there's options out there but the biggest problem is that we don't know what we should be investing in. So um, if you're just hopping on, I, I went through a lot. Um, we covered when you should invest in yourself, why you should invest in yourself. I gave the top five benefits and then the top three results. And then lastly, how to make the best decision for you when investing in yourself. So I hope this was helpful. Um, investing was a really scary thing. It still, it still is because now my investments, I think the first investment I ever made in my business was like 200 and well besides software so this was specifically a course it was like 249 I think um, and you know I had to it took me a while to push that buy button but now like what I invest in is five figures <laughs> So there's a whole other like level uh, and thought that goes into what am I going to invest my money in, but it starts low. Like you don't have to, your first investment shouldn't be a four figure investment. Okay. Because you don't, you haven't even learned like what your online learning style is. So just do your due diligence, make sure you're asking questions, make sure that you know why you're investing and let that guide your decision, okay? Um, that's all I got, I'm gonna go ahead and end here. I hope y'all have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow at 2 p.m. for day seven. Bye guys. All right, Facebook, I will see y'all tomorrow.